Hello again. Uh, this is a comparison contrast video. Um, essentially, for 2016, um, Harbor Freight decided to change the design of their Predator engines to a hemispherical combustion chamber design, also known as a Hemi. Um, I found out this the hard way because a few weeks ago, my old motor on my mud boat locked up because I had too much timing and too much oil in it. And that was, I outlined the results of that in a prior video. Uh, this one is going to compare and contrast the old and the new. Um, I found out the hard way because I had to remake all of the modifications I had made for my throttle. Uh, after removing the governor on both of these uh, and I just wanted to point out the differences um, in case someone has an older one and they're going to move to a newer one or they're wondering whether or not their parts will still work or, or if there's any improvements in the new design that might be beneficial so let's get this video going here okay um, this is a 2015 rating model of a Predator 301 it has a non-hemispherical combustion chamber. You can tell right away by this narrow uh, valve cover. Uh, in here, instead of the, the valves on a Hemi engine, in here it's conventional. The push rods come straight up and the, the valves are directly overhead. They go basically straight up and down. Uh, there's no hinge or there, there's nothing that will require this to be any bigger than it is, okay? Um, that's your first indicator. The second indicator is obviously the model number. Uh, this is the old one. It's 61415. The new one is 6... I'm not sure what it is. Hang on. It's 62554 is the one for 2016. Um, yeah. This is a di made by a different company than the old one. The old one was made by Rada. This one is made by Lifan, I believe. Uh, it's a different casting. The first way you can determine that is the old one has this bracket. There's no cast-in ears. The new one has these cast-in ears to support the front part of the gas tank. Um, let's see. It has a different cover housing on here. I'm not sure about the the side cover gasket. Um, I know that the quality of this one, the older one, was a better quality on the on the side cover gasket for sure. Uh, here's the old gas tank. It's slightly smaller, although the for some strange reason the manual says that the new one is smaller than the old one. Uh, that's garbage. This one is obviously smaller than the new one. Um, you can see where I had to clearance it only slightly on the old one because it, it rode a little bit higher. Um, screw cap on the old one was, I, I prefer the old style like this. Um, it was, a, it screws in and then has a gasket at the top. On the new one, obviously you can see that the gas tank is larger. On the new one, it has these locking lug style with a gasket. And on mine, the chain was, for some reason, broken or not attached. I prefer the older screw style, personally. Um, going on, um, the, the carburetor on both is the same. However, the air filter assembly is different. This is the air assembly on the new one. And I'm considering running this as stock for a little while but I'm going to remove this cover because when you have this cover on all your air for the engine is coming through these small slots right there and this is securely on there so I don't see any reason to run this cover when it's just going to restrict the airflow to the engine as it's running stock um, this housing is different on the old one it was far narrower on the side right there this one, in order to use my spring that I have attached to it, I had to cut out this part right here to get it narrower, but it, it's extended farther this way, so my spring is under more tension on this one. 
the angle on the, the vent hose is different. Um, this one, the new one comes with a nicer Bosch spark plug. Uh, it's one range, heat range colder. It's a seven instead of a six. It's a colder range spark plug. Uh, it's probably having to do with the hemispherical combustion chamber and it has a slightly higher compression ratio. I think the new one is 8.3 2 to 1. Uh, the old one was 8.2. Uh, that's minor, but they, they are running a colder spark plug on this one. And it is a better quality. It's a Bosch on this one. The old one was like uh, a Bode. There's the old one. Um, here's the most distinguishing feature. This is the first thing I noticed when I pulled, got it home and pulled it out of the box and thought I had the wrong model. Obviously, this the valve cover is wider. That's because in a hemispherical combustion chamber or a hemi head, uh, the valves go in at an angle. It has a dome shape at the top of the combustion chamber, and the valves go in at an angle, which allows better flow through the engine from one side to the other. Um, and so because of this, the angle of the valves like that, underneath here, if I was to bother taking it off, you have your rockers are now on a hinge over here. Your, your lifter rods come up at a little bit steeper angle, or I'm sorry, shallower angle, and they come up in the same place straight up like that. But in order to get over here to the angled side of the valves, you have a, a, a hinge arrangement like this. So instead of being overhead like this, now they're hinged so that they kind of go like that. And let's see what else we got going on here. The exhausts are similar. Um, I think the placement is going to be slightly different because this is a wider, shorter head. So I'm hoping that my aftermarket exhaust that I got on there will still line up and, and go to where it needs to go. Um, my first question when I got the new one was whether or not I could use my ARC flywheel on it. The old one was part 62, or 6277 I think it was. Um, it's whatever one you go to NR Racing, look for the one for the Predator 301. Um, I was concerned that that wouldn't fit because on the old style, back when Predator engines had Hemis before, uh, the taper was different on the shaft, the flywheel shaft, and you couldn't use the same flywheels on between Hemi and non-Hemi engines. Uh, but luckily for me, these are the two flywheels. Uh, this is the old one, and this is the new one. And I verified with the machine shop that I go to that the taper is identical and the timing position of the key is also identical. So you can feel free to safely run your ARC flywheel. Uh, it's also for the GX270. It, it will work on this. You don't have to worry about that. The timing's the same. The taper's the same. It goes right on the same way it did on the old one. So that made me very happy because I didn't want to be out $200 and have a $200 paperweight. Um, fans are the same. Um, the other change I had to make on here, the way I had it set up with my pivot after I removed the governor, um, if you can see in there where that, that set screw is to limit the revs of the engine mechanically that's the one for my old one on the new one which is over here this is my old one and my old plate it's you can better see it here basically on the new one this piece is shorter and when I had it on there with my throttle linkage which I also had to change the length of because the head is shorter um, you can see now where that this screw clears this throttle linkage before with the shorter one it was right in line with that throttle linkage so you couldn't get really get a uh, screwdriver in there to adjust that and also when it was running it was just on the very bottom lip of that so this was actually riding up and over the adjustment screw and so to rectify that I just cut off the one off the old one 
and cut the new one off the new one and swapped them out and just spot welded them in place so this one's taller the only conundrum that made was this one's real close here now I didn't have to clearance that oh and also on the new gas tank because this is not supposed to normally have something here I had to do a lot more clearancing on there to clear my little pivot that was just I just did that with a ball peen hammer um, and I basically had to remake all this stuff I had already made which kind of really pissed me off um, moving on um, let's see what else is different on this or the same oh I went to I was going to stick this pull starter on because I like it has a better a nicer see the t-handle is so much nicer on the old one um, and it does go on there and it does work but then I noticed also that the new one is much more ventilated so you're gonna get a lot more air in there and since I had a heat problem last time um, I decided to go with the new one it's obvious there there's a lot more ventilation slots on the new pull handle which will allow more air to go in there and cool this engine off uh, so they're different you could use it if you needed to if you were in a pinch or the old one the new one broke you could use the old one but this one has more ventilation slots so it's going to allow more cooling air in there um, as I noted in the other video uh, you don't want to use any more than a 4 degree advance key in a Predator 301 because in actuality you'll be running 9 degrees of advance and that's far too hot and far too much advance for the engine. Uh, so in this time, this time around, I'm just going with whatever the stock advance is on. It's like 3 degrees more advanced than a regular, like a 212 Predator. And I just used the stock uh, flywheel key in there, so I'm not going through that again. I just used the stock flywheel key. I'm reusing my ARC SFI certified flywheel because I've removed the governor on this. And uh, for now, I'm just going to run it like this with this this cover off because it'll it should be getting more air that way instead of having to breathe through these little slots that are in here. Uh, I'm going to keep it stock until next season, and then next season I'm going to put on my hop up upgrades again and rejet it. Well, the only addition to that is that I'm going to remove the the low speed idle jet out of this, out of the old one, and put it in this one. It I think it'll be better for that. It'll run a little bit richer at idle. The transition in the low end will be better and. Uh, that's about it for now. I just wanted to outline the differences between the old and the new Predator 301. Overall, I think it's actually going to work out the better for me. Hemispherical combustion engines tend to flow air better through the head because of the way the angle of the valves. It's, it obscures the intake and the exhaust valves less. And you generally get better power more easily out of a hemispherical combustion chambered engine. Uh, than you do with a conventional one and uh, it should take all the mods just the same as the old one and as far as I can tell the carburetor is the same so my hop up kit the jets will still work in it the flywheel still works which is outstanding and uh, that's about it for now so just a heads up they've changed the Predators to hemi, hemi design and these are the various differences between the two talk to you later